when you protect the forest, you are protecting some of the endangered species or some of the unknown species there. We make do with what we have to get the job done. In the morning, we, yeah, typical day is breakfast, and then we get ready with our gears to go in the field to do sampling. Papua New Guinea is not uh, explored, most of the parts of it, so we are bound to have new spe species and some um, um, rare species too. The biodiversity of insects shows if the forests are intact or not, and it also shows if the forest is disturbed. The number of species you find there shows that. As an entomologist, it's quite interesting when you look at plants and insects, their interactions, then only one part of it. The moths, we do them at night because we are doing light traps. When we go out to the field, we put this big white sheet and the light bulb that uh, attracts the moths. It's a UV light. We sort them out and then we put them into their species group. And we take only one individual from one species and we pin them. The biodiversity of moths is okay. We collected a number of moths. I think it's 68 species, so it's okay. It would be good if there are more biologists which are female. As a woman, I'm proud of being a biologist because I get to know everything in the forest. And at the same time, it's nice to show other females that it's a good job to take and if you get to be a biologist you get to know more about your forest and everything in it and at the same time you will know that as a female you are biologically a mother so when you have children you teach them how to take care of the forest and then they will teach their children so it's an advantage for females to be biologists so they can teach the future generation how to take care of the forest. It's good to do scientific research before we let development such as logging or mining to come in. Logging and mining gives us money for this short period of time, but if you have forest, you have it for a long period of time and it helps us. You look after the forest and in turn it will look after you.